Hey everyone, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. It's Junior CEO of Young Friends of Fashion. Just in Costa, having a medium sized cappuccino with one sugar. Um, yeah. Today's been really productive, really, really busy as well because I was out and um, talking to a couple of people, handing out some business cards and stuff. This is what I do. If you have a business, you know what it's like, you, want, you need to promote yourself, so that's what I do. Um, yeah, and it seems positive. It seems positive. They never said um, they never said they're going to place an order. They didn't make any promises like everybody else does. Do you know what I mean? They literally just said um, they'll check it out. That's it. And that's that's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever want is people to go on the website, check it out, see what they think for themselves, and if they like what they see, you know, these orders, these orders. Um, like last night, I had a couple of business cards as well because I was at an event. Um, I've got them uploads the videos to use to my channel later, do that today. Because I need to do that. I've edited them already, I just got to upload them. Yeah, sorry about the noise guys, it is noisy here. There's a lot of people here the last time. Let me have the first sip of my coffee. That's the one. I won't have no more coffee after this, this is it. Um, so I had to go out, come out today. I needed to get some um, printing paper because I just ran out. So once you are not dubbing Smith to go get some, uh, they were doing two for fifteen pounds. I only wanted one. I thought you would want something. But I do two because normally I order from um, Amazon to get my printing paper because I get like three for like seven pounds something. I think it was. Maybe a bit more. Um, the problem with that is they didn't have the delivery won't be till like next week, and I need the paper now because we've got orders coming through, and I need to make sure that I can print up invoices, um, print up what I need to print off as well. I've also got my notebook with me actually to write my ideas down for my next project um, that I've been talking to people. With. Um, this is my notebook. Um, I've got a couple of things in there. Of, um, quite a lot of um, ideas written down. Um, so it's like whenever I come up with ideas, I just have to write them down straight away because otherwise I'll forget. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I need to keep, uh, keep on top of what I'm doing. Um, big massive thank you to Hannah did a review video for me and put it on TikTok. I have uploaded it on TikTok, so if you go follow me on TikTok or you can go check it. What's going on with my hair? Damn, huh? Um, yeah, go check it out and let us know what you think. Comment on the video let us know what you guys think of what she says. Because um, that would be an interesting thing as well. Also, go follow her. It's Hannah T. Underscore Designs. I will take away this video as well. She's always showing love and support to us. Um, she's so amazing. She does artwork um, as well as websites and t shirts, other things as well. So, if you are looking for t shirts, or like she literally designs the t shirts to what you want them to be, so she customizes it. Um, also, if you're looking for like, what is it? Um, if you look, if you love your artwork, like you love your art, then she is the best person to go to because she does some amazing art. She's got some skills, like literally she has some skills. And she works for herself as well. And that's just what we do, we support each other as a whole because we're all small businesses, businesses, we're all small business owners. And um, supporting small businesses is a, is a big thing. And especially for me, um, being in business for three years, it's, it is a struggle. Somebody asked me, same person I handed a business card to, um, he wants to start a business himself. And he's like, what's it like? Is it a struggle? It's, I was like, listen, people, 
because it goes, oh, um, people have been telling them that starting a business is great, you're going to make money straight away, you're going to do this, you're going to be successful. Do, 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 do. And I was like, listen, people are chatting shit in your head. People are chatting shit in your head. Like, listen, do you think uh, Marks and Spencer's got to where they are super quick? Do you think um, JD Sports got to where they are super quick? Do you think Pandora got to where they are? Warren James, um, Tiger, Costa, um, Fretz, uh, Odium. Do you really think the Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Asta, do you really think they got successful overnight? No, they didn't. It takes years to be successful. I can't even speak. It takes years to be successful as well. It really takes, it takes a lot of hard work. It takes patience. It takes persistence. It takes communication. It takes um, a lot of support to get where they need to be. And for anyone that's turned around and thinking, oh yeah, quick money scheme, um, you know, I start a business today, tomorrow I'm gonna to be a millionaire. You're, you're talking out your ass, mate. You're literally talking out your ass because that, there's no way you can be a millionaire overnight. Unless you played a lot of it, then yeah. There's like a million chance. But you get what I'm saying. You're not going to become a millionaire overnight. It's all about hard work. Like, yes, there's businesses out there that was handed over to them through, because it was left in. There was a they inherited that business or whatever. Yeah, but there are businesses out there like mine who built it from scratch, who built it from nothing, no money, no nothing. It's just a lot of stress, stress, stress. Um, persistence, patience, a lot of yeah, a lot of hot headaches as well. But at the same time, I want to change it for the world because I'm in a better position where I am now. As I said to him, I'm in a more better, I'm in a better position where I am now than where I was before. Um, I've worked with so many people before. I've done cleaning. I've done steward work. I've done um, you know that's for like that's for shows and events. Uh, I've done um, warehousing. I've been a carer for since I was 14. Going to care and um, worked for disability people as well. That's why I'm so passionate about disabilities and um, people with mental health because I've worked in that I've worked in that field, so I know. And I've studied I've studied in that field as well, so I know exactly what it looks like. And plus, my uh, my grandma had um, dementia. She died of dementia five, six years, five years ago, six years ago, something like that. No, she died in 2019. Almost five years. Yeah, almost five years. So she was nine. She'd be a hundred this year. She would be a hundred this year. If she was still alive, she'd be a hundred. Her birthday is the 21st of May. She died. She died four weeks later. She died the 21st of June, and then I ended up in hospital for a so, severe so um, an emergency of surgery um, a few months later. So I ended up in hospital in October. October the first, I ended up in hospital. Uh, that's when I had my surgery. But yeah, we won't go into that. But. Um, yeah. So there's people out there that I've spoken to before that said, you know, they've been in business for 10 years, they're still struggling, they're still getting through. Look at the big brands, big brands, top, um, the body shop's gone, the one in Lucian Centre, that's gone. And that wasn't even a small business, that was a big massive company that they've gone. Um, they're moving online. Uh, WH. WH Smith is going. Um, not as um, Poundland is going, but mind you, would anyone really miss Poundland to be fair? Let's be real. Poundland isn't a pound, so they need to change the name. Um, yeah, the whole of Lucian Centre is getting knocked down. 
there moving elsewhere. But majority of, oh, Marks and Spencers as well, I heard. I don't know if it's true, but I heard Marks and Spencers getting um, permanently closed down. I know um, in some areas they're getting closed down permanently, but I'm not sure if they're going to move it from here to another destination. But I did hear that they're going to close it down. Um, you know, I, I'm one of those people that believe in actions, not words. So until I see it, yeah. I'm just saying what I what people have told me. Um, like Judge Judy saying, it's hair say. Hair say don't count. Um, but yeah, so even those big big businesses that they're massive, they've been around for years, they are still closing down. So you think about it, it's all about support. Some people aren't even supporting these big massive companies because they're still getting shut down. So when they get shut down, people start complaining. Oh, the shot's gone. Why did they? Why did they close? They close because they have no support. They close because of support. Yes, we're in cost of living. Get over it. <laughs> Get over it. Yes, money's tight. Things are. Do you know what I mean? But don't go like perfume shops. Spend five hundred pound on a bottle of perfume, and then complain about cost of living, and complain about oh, you've got no money left. People bought a hundred pound Easter egg and still complained they had no money. There was a ticket from Harrods, there was a, like a tiny Easter egg, like a normal size Easter egg, I should say. Uh, someone paid like 200 pounds for that Easter egg, but then they complained about the price. They said, oh, it's 200 quid for this Easter egg. I can't believe I bought it. Don't complain about it. You spent 200 quid on an Easter egg. Now you're here complaining about it. Make it make sense. Do you know what I mean? And then I was saying to this guy, um, not that long ago, don't complain about the things that you paid for, yeah? Because you paid for it. No one forced you. No one told you, oh, go buy this. Even if they did tell you to do it, why are you letting someone control you and your money? It's your money, buy what you want. But don't complain about it to other people and say, oh, I just spent 200 pound on the Easter egg. I have no money left for the rest of the month. What am I gonna do? That's not, that's not my problem. That's a you problem. So, you've got to deal with that. You shouldn't spend 200 quid on the Easter egg. Simple. Yeah, when we were talking, he was like saying that um, fragrances that he likes is Louis Vuitton, Cheap, Hugo Boss, Versace, and Savage. He likes a lot of those stuff. Um, and I was just saying to him, because he hasn't been to events before, and I said to him, look, you should really get to event, go to events, you'd be able to network, you'd be able to meet people, because I go to events all the time, I was at one yesterday, I'm going to another event Wednesday, I might be going to one tomorrow, I'm just waiting on my client to let me know what's happening, and then we'll probably go to one tomorrow, because um, it's not today, so otherwise I won't be here. Um, so yeah. So I said to him, listen, you've got to do what you've got to do. If you want to start a business, yes, it's difficult. Yes, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to give you stress. It's going to give you headaches. It's going to give you anxiety. It's going to be a pain in the ass. But at the same time, you will feel so much better working for yourself, doing what you love doing, because you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for anybody else. You're working for yourself, for yourself. And I also said to him as well, um, just, just, just go for it. If, you, if there's a business idea you have, go for it. Literally, go for it. I mean, it's, I said also, said to you, it's not going to, it's not going to be an overnight thing. It's going to take a lot of work, a lot of persistence, a lot of um, commitment, a lot of, a lot of like late nights as well. And you're going to have like, you're going to have days where. You just don't want to see anyone, but your only focus is your brand. Where your only focus is um, the stuff that you're doing, how you want to present it, how you want to get it out there as well. And I said, when you do have a business, no matter what business it is, make sure you have business cards as well so that everyone can see what you're doing, everyone knows about it. And I said, the most important thing that you should do is promote, 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 promote. It's going to take time. 
for people to know who you are, to people to come to your website, it's gonna take time. But don't get, don't get upset about it because these things happen. Coffee shops, like I said, they, when they first opened, they didn't have loads of people come to the shops. Bakeries, restaurants, they didn't have loads of people come to the establishments the same night. Do you know what I'm saying? So it just if you keep at it, don't give up, keep going you'll get there, you will definitely get there, um, but that's all I just wanted to say really, is thank you to everyone that's been supporting me for three years straight and we're still going strong, um, we will be back at, at other events as well, any questions, comments, whatever, drop them below, um, we'll put all our information in the description as always, um, appreciate every single one of you. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and yeah, we'll catch you in another video very soon. I'm going to try and go live today as well. But yeah, stay safe, stay blessed. We out. So once again, I ordered another fragrance off Beyond Fragrance and Fashion off of Junior. Um, arrived today. I ordered over Bank Holiday, and I still got it within a few days, as per usual, which I. I didn't expect, and Junior always does this, you're naughty. Um, I got some freebies thrown in, so we've got a biodegradable cutlery set with canvas wrap by Bam Boutique. Really cute packaging, my twins are going to love that on a picnic, my twins love a picnic. Um, also thrown in some of these, which are eye protect gummies. Never heard of these, but I'm blind, so if it helps... <laughs> some beautiful candles and it does smell very nice so um as per usual fragrance arrived within a couple of days this will last a while oh i'm breaking things this will last me a while i do go, go through fragrances quite often so we'll be buying loads of virginia but that's what it's about and being a small business it's about supporting businesses and to be honest junior has saved me this i think come to 40 odd quid usually i'd spend 200 quid um so you have saved me so i can go up blue water and have a ladies day with my mum today and my daughter i've got a girl's day today which is very rare for me as a mum of twins you can imagine um and yeah thanks again thanks junior thanks beyond fragrance and fashion you guys are amazing if you don't know beyond fragrance and fashion go and give them a follow they're very very good at what they do um they're a small business and they save you lots of money in fragrances because i used to spend i don't even want to talk about it just ridiculous amounts on fragrance and um yeah save me a small fortune junior has Anyway, have a great weekend and catch up soon.